Welcome to this evening's evening prayer. It's going to be slightly different today and we're going to be doing a form of prayer called Lecto Divina. Because this morning I focused on the second reading Ephesians, I wanted to give us an opportunity to appreciate the gospel reading more fully. So we're going to have the gospel reading from this morning's service. Just in case you didn't try it last time, I will still include what Lecto Divina is and how it works in the next section. What is Lecto Divina? Lecto Divina is a complementive way of reading the Bible. It dates back to the early centuries of the Christian church and was established as a monastic practice by the Benedictines in the 6th century. It is a way of praying the scripture that leads us deeper into God's word. We slow down. We read a short passage more than once. We chew it over and slowly and carefully we savour it. Scripture begins to speak to us in new ways. It speaks to us personally and aids that union we have with God through Christ, who is himself the living word. This, of course, can take time to get used to, and it can be really useful and help us to find a new way into prayer. There are different ways of doing Lecto Divina. This is the structure that tonight we will use. So this way of praying starts with our silence. We often make the mistake of thinking that prayer is about what we say to God. It is actually the other way round. God wants to speak to us. He will do this through scripture. So don't worry about what to say. Don't worry if nothing jumps out at you at first. God is patient. He will wait for an opportunity to get in. He will give you a word and lead you to understand its meaning for you today. When we read the first time of the passage, listen. As the passage is read, listen for a word or phrase that attracts you. Allow it to arise from the passage as if it is God's word for you today. Sit in silence, repeating the word or phrase in your head, or if you prefer, out loud. The second time of reading the passage, the key is to ponder. As the passage is read again, Ask how this word or phrase speaks to you, your life, and why has it connected with you in this moment. Ponder it carefully. Don't worry if you get distracted. It may be part of your response to offer it to God. Sit in silence. And then frame a single sentence that begins to say what the word or phrase says to you. 
at the time of the third reading. Pray. As the passage is read for the third time and last time, ask what Christ is calling from you. What is it that you need to do or consider or relinquish or take on as a result of what God is saying to you in this word or phrase? In the silence that follows the reading, Pray for the grace of the Spirit to plant this word in your heart. So let's make sure we are sitting comfortably. Breathe slowly and deeply. And if it is possible, you might even like to light a candle or have an image up that helps you focus on God. In a moment, we will ask God to speak to us through the passage that we are about to read. If it helps, you may like to read the prayer out, which will be on the screen aloud. O blessed Lord, who caused all Holy Scripture to be written for our learning. Grant us so to hear them, mark, learn and inwardly digest them. That we may embrace and hold fast the blessed hope of everlasting life. which you have given us in our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. So our Gospel reading that we will be focusing on this evening is from Mark's Gospel. It jumps around a little bit, so I'll give you the exact details so that if you want, you can follow it and read it along at the same time. So it's Mark chapter 6 verses 30 to 34, and then 53 to the end of the chapter. Remember, during the first time of reading, Listen to what jumps out or grabs your attention when listening to the reading. The apostles gathered around Jesus and told him all that they had done and taught. He said to them, come away to a deserted place, all by yourselves, and rest a while. For many were coming and going, and they had no leisure even to eat. And they went away into the boat to a deserted place by themselves, Now many saw them going and recognised them, and they hurried there on foot from all the towns and arrived ahead of them. As he went ashore, he saw a great crowd, and he had compassion on them, because they were like 
sheep without a shepherd. And he began to teach them many things. When they had crossed over, they came to a land at Gennesaret and moored the boat. When they got out of the boat, people at once recognised him and rushed about that whole region and began to bring the sick on mats to wherever they heard he was. And wherever he went, into the villages, or the cities, or the farms, they laid the sick in the marketplaces and begged him that they might touch even the fringe of his cloak. And all who touched it were healed. During the second time of reading, focus on the word or phrase that caught your attention and ponder its meaning. The apostles gathered around Jesus and told him all that they had done and taught. He said to them, come away to a deserted place, all by yourselves, and rest a while. For many were coming and going, and they had no leisure even to eat. And they went away into the boat to a deserted place by themselves, now many saw them going and recognised them and they hurried there on foot from all the towns and arrived ahead of them. As he went ashore, he saw a great crowd and he had compassion on them because they were like sheep without a shepherd 
and he began to teach them many things. When they had crossed over, they came to a land at Gennesaret and moored the boat. When they got out of the boat, people at once recognised him and rushed about that whole region and began to bring the sick on mats to wherever they heard he was. And wherever he went, into the villages, or the cities, or the farms, they laid the sick in the marketplaces and begged him that they might touch even the fringe of his cloak. And all who touched it were healed. For the third and final time of listening to our reading, pray what actions God may want you to take as a response to the time that you have spent with him tonight and the message that he's given you. The apostles gathered around Jesus and told him all that they had done and taught. He said to them, come away to a deserted place all by yourselves and rest a while. For many were coming and going and they had no leisure even to eat. And they went away into the boat to a deserted place by themselves. Now many saw them going and recognised them. And they hurried there on foot from all the towns and arrived ahead of them. As he went ashore, he saw a great crowd and he had compassion on them 
because they were like sheep without a shepherd. And he began to teach them many things. When they had crossed over, they came to a land at Gennesaret and moored the boat. When they got out of the boat, people at once recognised him and rushed about that whole region and began to bring the sick on mats to wherever they heard he was. And wherever he went into the villages or the cities or the farms, they laid the sick in the market places and begged him that they might touch even the fringe of his cloak. And all who touched it were healed. As our time of Lecto Divina comes to an end this evening, let us be thankful in our hearts and conclude our time with the words that Jesus taught us, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. <laughs>